So I wanted to show you here, I started having some intermittent electrical problems with my ski. So I spent, this is about 10 hours testing. I had to cut the entire wire harness apart. I found the problem right there. Look at that corrosion. In that sealed splice, you could see that corrosion. That is the problem. The, I was only getting 10 volts at the meter display and 10 volts at the fuse, at the 10 amp fuse block for the meter display. So I've been diagnosing it myself. And as you can see right there, there is a lot of corrosion in that little wire harness. On the wire and the diagram, they show a junction and it's taken me this long to find it. It would have been nice if they told you where it was, but you could see that that's a factory defect in the harness. Spent 10 hours testing the ECU, testing every single pin, testing the CAN bus, testing the immobilizer, testing the continuity of every single circuit. And now I finally found it right there. Intermittently, my display would reboot or not turn on and my immobilizer and my meter unit both had low voltage. That's your problem right there. So I'm gonna cut those wires out, solder them back together, shrink wrap them and we should be good to go. It took me a long time to find this and you could see that that corrosion is actually epoxied in there with those wires. If you are experiencing these issues, basically you gotta find these resin dipped splices in the harness and you have to cut this one out completely. It's just fucked, all the wires in there are just completely dissolved. So we're gonna cut it out, we're gonna resplice all those wires we're gonna solder them, we're gonna shrink wrap it properly, and it should never have a problem again. But if you're having this problem with your ski and you're not mechanically adept, then you're gonna to wanna to have them watch this video. They're never gonna find, they're never gonna figure it out on their own. You're just gonna to have to show them because your ski will be there for months. You're gonna to have to cut away the corroded defective connector. And then that'll leave you with five wires. You see them right there. So stay tuned for part two of this video where I show you exactly how to make the repair. Um, again though, I do not recommend that you do your own repairs on the ski. I do recommend that you contact your Kawasaki dealer and notify them that you are having issues with your watercraft and allow them to fix it. You know, I love Kawasaki's. I think jet skis are, uh, the 310s are some of the best skis out there. And, uh, I just feel that now that I know that there's an issue, at least with my harness on my ski, I wanted to do my part to alert other Kawasaki owners about my experience um, so that they can continue to maintain the reliability and safety of their own uh, jet skis. So if you're having any issues, uh, feel free to comment or reach out to me directly and I'll do whatever I can uh, to help you get your issue resolved. Thanks for watching.